Kyoto has become an immensely popular travel destination for its serene temples, beautifully preserved shrines, and deep sense of history that permeates the city. But if you're looking for an experience beyond the usual tourist track, this is a rare opportunity to see centuries of culture come to life. Every October, the Jidai Matsuri, or Festival of Ages, lets you take an up-close look at over a thousand years of Kyoto's history, and all within the span of a single afternoon. In today's video, we'll take an up-close look at this fascinating event, show you glimpses of the historical parade in action, and give you some logistics tips for attending if you'd like to witness this celebration of history firsthand. Each October 22nd, Kyoto celebrates one of its three greatest festivals, the Jidai Matsuri. Unlike many of Japan's festivals that center on portable shrines or dances, this one is quite unique in that it's essentially a living history museum that parades through the streets. This grand procession marks the anniversary of Kyoto's founding as Japan's capital in the year 794 and celebrates over a thousand years of vibrant history. What sets this event apart is how it's one of the few times you can see such a comprehensive display of Japanese historical costumes and customs in motion. Instead of static museum displays behind glass, here you're witnessing how these outfits would have moved and looked in daily life centuries ago. The attention to detail is extraordinary, from the elegant silk kimonos of court nobles to the imposing armour of samurai warriors. With approximately 2,000 participants total, the event showcases two millennia of history, beginning with the Meiji Restoration and moving backward through time to the founding of Kyoto in the Enryaku era. Starting precisely at noon from the Kyoto Imperial Palace, the procession follows a two-kilometer route that leads to Heian Shrine, recreating the formal processions of old Kyoto. This makes things quite flexible for your Kyoto schedule, as you have many options and opportunities to witness the procession along the specified route. There's also paid seating options in case you want a comfortable and guaranteed front row view, but securing a nice viewing spot somewhere along this two kilometer stretch is certainly doable, especially if you arrive early. The Imperial Palace where the procession originates is one of the most obvious and popular viewing spots, but demands you get there early if you really want an unobstructed view. That said, it's also one of the most relaxed and comfortable locations, as the palace grounds are quite vast and open, meaning you can enjoy the procession without feeling overly crowded. While the areas along Marutamachi and Karasuma Street also offer ample viewing opportunities, the eastern side of Sanjo Bridge tends to be a tad less crowded and allows for up-close viewing. And another fantastically itinerary-friendly logistics feature of this festival is the timing running efficiently from 12 p.m. sharp until mid-afternoon. This means you can experience this historical spectacle and still have ample time to enjoy other autumn events in Kyoto, such as the evening's Kurama Fire Festival. Ultimately, the Jidai Matsuri is yet another compelling reason to visit Kyoto during the enchanting autumn season, when the city's rich history and vibrant culture come to life in a truly unforgettable way. On top of being a spectacular cultural experience, it's also quite accessible location and schedule-wise, meaning it can be an easy yet rewarding itinerary addition, especially if you're already planning to visit in autumn. But that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one. Until then, cheers.